All right, y'all. Uh, I tried to do a quick live, but can't do it. Uh, this place here, I ain't got the internet hooked up yet. Uh, we're going to call this one um, to start a conflict. Racist. Who is racist? What make a person racist? If that person has been in your chat for a while and you get into it with them and they say a few words that is racist, the N word or the S word or the C word, whatever they call you. Um, I'll, I, I, I want to know where the racists start. Where does the racist start? Where does it begin? Who's racist? Now, I've heard that in a live earlier, and everybody goes along with the channel holder. And sometimes the channel holder can be racist, or maybe the channel holder took it the wrong way. I'm not for sure. But I want y'all to understand, when that word racism, that's a very strong, that's a very little word, but it's very strong. And to me, racist is not really what you say. Look like it's what you do. You know what I'm saying? When you 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 act upon the racism or you put your hands upon somebody because you don't like the color of their skin or the way they talk or what they say to you. It's like favoritism. Races and fa racism and favoritism go goes hand in hand. Okay? Y'all forget it. Got that too well in the background. But the the sad thing is Again, if you're going to call somebody something, make sure you call everybody something. And I try to explain it to y'all as simple as I can. When a white person call you the N-word, you get mad. It's understandable. But when a black man does it, you don't say nothing. The white man races, but the black man ain't. What's the difference? The word. Now, we talked about this, we discussed this, but this here is for new people that's coming in here. And the old ones, if you happen to listen, oh well, keep listening. You got to understand, you could be racist towards your own family. Now, Tyler Perry did a movie that came out called the Jazz, A Jazz Man's Blues. Y'all need to check it out. It's very deep. You got to understand, family can be just as racist they can don't want to like you. They can't stand you or they jealous of you. That's how things are. Somebody call you out of your name. Does that mean they racist? Do that? That's just the question. I don't believe it's, if they're racist. I think they said it because they pissed off. Now, I remember a woman on here that was, she's a channel holder. Everybody, you know, know her. And she said the N word. Nigga, 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 nigga. She was pissed off. If they prejudice, they really want to deal with you, period. I mean, sort of the way they would not call you friend, call you, or, you know, be in a chat. But when you when you racist, you're gonna do some horrible things. You're gonna say some horrible things. And some people say, well, they can do it undercover. Okay, well, I can understand that because you will never know if I'm racist toward black people. Yeah, but you black too. Yes, that's right, I am. But I'm not, I'm just saying. But stupidity, yes, I am. I am racist against stupidity when people try to put or hurt somebody else. Before you call somebody else's prejudice, make sure you look at their whole life and talk to them. If any of y'all got a problem with this this uh, video, you know, uh, put the thumbs up, thumbs down, or you come in the comment, and we can talk about it. But a lot of times, we have favoritism, and we prejudice over our own family. Some are prejudiced over their own kin. Some are stereotyped to say, oh, well, you know, white folks can't cook, but black folks can't, can't cook. But white folks can't. That's not always true. I don't want him coming out. I don't like the way he looked. He or she didn't make themselves. And you kind of lose a, a, a couple of screws yourself. Now, to be in somebody's channel, a channel holder, and you got your subscribers, subscribers, 
understand this. Your channel holder can be prejudiced too. Why they talking about somebody else? You check them. Because sometimes they could be lying. Oh, she said this. It's the way she said it. Look at the way y'all said it. Some of y'all said the same thing. The way y'all say it. Do that make that person prejudiced? No, I'm not sticking up for her. I'm just stating a fact that it's all around us. But it's right there where you least expect it. What makes her a racist? You got some of them out here cussing, and and, and 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 you got some people up on the panel say the N word. Nobody saying nothing. I'm just saying, ain't nobody saying nothing. But soon as somebody uh, Caucasian, oh, you wrong for that. Get a grip, y'all. Get a grip. That's how conflict starts. I'm going to try to do a little series of the conflict. I try to figure out even in another thing, uh, state capital. When they went up there and fought at the state capital, that was a question. Were they right or were they wrong? Is that in the Declaration of Independence? Is that in the Constitution or what they did? And again, ain't nobody answered the question. I asked them, when did black folks come from Republican to Democrat. What changed? Just because somebody say they're Democrat don't mean it's for you. Just because somebody say they're Republican, that don't mean it's for you. You, you. you got to thank God for your neighbor because your neighbor, you got a problem the way your neighbor look. You got a problem with God because he the one made that person. He made that individual. You got to love them for what they are. Now, we got some that are unnatural. That's another one of the conflict series. You got to understand the unnatural. Some of them trying to be other species, but they're not. They try to dress up like other species, but they're not. The unnatural. Now, I could have titled it The Secret Invasion. You got to watch people. You got to listen to what they're saying. You got some people, they... They take your words and say, oh, you said this. You said this about, and that ain't what that person was talking about. You got to give a person a chance to talk instead of jumping down on them and assume that. You got to be careful of what you're saying in your presentation. But the, the, the truth of the matter, matter is, everybody probably got some prejudice in them. But because of a man's skin, I'm going to tell you something else about prejudice. Watch your wrestling shows. Most of them are what? White world champions. Can barely fight out their paper bag. Watch this. All these astronauts. How many times have you seen a black crew, nothing but a black crew, go up to the moon? You mostly see whites. And I'm telling you. Prejudice is all around us. I'm trying to get you to see it. When they when they have a president, when they have a a a leader of the ego country, you may have about two blacks, maybe, but they always mix with something. Or they married to somebody else, if you know what I'm saying. It ain't no dog black man, dog black woman. No. Prejudice. Favoritism go hand in hand. Watch out for the favoritism. Mm-hmm. Oh, why why we pick him? Well, he black. What cool school he he went to Princeton. Okay. It ain't oh, he went to the University of Memphis. 
No, we don't want him. We want the boy that's coming out of Princeton and Yale. I'm just saying. We don't want that one over there. We don't we we don't want him being no engineer, no doctor. We want him to what? We want him to be a janitor. We want him to be a forklift operator. We want her to be a receptionist. We don't want her to be no manager. I'm just saying the prejudice. It's all around us. That's being real. You get a show called uh, Love and Hip Hop. Oh, man. So they get on that show, they get to fight. Just like a, a soap opera. Look at look at these other soap operas, like the guy in the light, Somerset. Look, look, look at all of them as the world turn around. Mm -hmm. Look at those. Look at those. You see them fighting hard like that? No, they act and they script. Brothers in there, half of them. Let me tell you about the favoritism. Let me tell you about the prejudice. Excuse me, y'all. Let me tell you about the prejudice. Most of them black folks on there acting white. Yeah, they got money. They acting white. Look the way they talk. Look the way they dress. Look, listen to their demeanor. And you got somebody say, I remember somebody say, how do you act black? You know what? How you act black? It's, it's your layman terms in so many words. That's what they looking at. The way you see a white person, the way they act, you say, man, he acting like he a black man. The way he talking, the way he hold his crotch, the way he talking about, man, we get this money. And man, he, you know what I'm saying? When he he talking all cool, the way he talking. Man, you know, I've been in school, a lot of white boys don't talk like that. They have a different demeanor. That's why they say he act black. Bad and bougie. That's why they talk about acting black. You say, how do they act black? That's how they do it. Start getting all their hair colors of uh, women, get their hair diff different colors and call themselves Nequicla, making up a name. Name they ain't, ain't even a word in the dictionary. I ain't never heard of name. Nequicla, making up some name. Don't even know what it means. Just made up something. I'm trying to tell y'all the prejudice, the racist, it's all around us. Goes in your own home. What do you mean, Eric? I mean, you go home and your child making good grades. The oldest child making the good grade. The younger child ain't making no good grades. Mama and daddy favor the oldest because they making good grades. But the young ones, they don't show their love. Now they say, I love both of my daughters the same. It sounds good. It sounds good. But it's not always true. Actions speak louder than words. Told you the prejudice. It's not always what you say in your mouth. It's your actions. And somebody don't like you. Go back to Woolworth. Back in the day, say 1950, 1947 maybe. Kids at a counter getting beat up because they want to get served at a lunch counter in a white stove. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't understand that. But if I go to one of these stoves and they act funny with me, I'm leaving up out of there. Maybe headed to the courthouse, but I'm leaving up out of there. And my money? Oh, you got to worry about me buying nothing else? You got to no, I tell you, look, give me my money back. We can do that. They don't want to do that. Prejudice is all around us. It's right there where you least expect it. White folks, they attacked the Capitol. Did they not? Yes, they did. They did what they did. Where was the National Guards? Just think about it. But nowhere to be found. They was out there fighting. They were whooping the police. Black people. Go back. Just look at the tapes. Look at the film, young folks. Look at everybody. Look. Peaceful march. Get your dog water hose. Get jumped on and beat on. Racism is all around us. 
I'm just saying, just look at it. How many police officers, black police officers, actually jumped on a white guy? All about four black. You you never heard of it. It didn't happen. All the inventions that we invented, potato chip, all that. Read the iron, the iron boy. When a white man took it, they took the pad and put the patent on it. But truthfully, they didn't invent it. Not saying nothing bad about white folks. No, I'm just saying, let's keep it a buck. <laughs> That's what we say, right? Keep it a buck. Racism is all around us. Go watch your wrestling shows. W.E. Watch it. Just watch it. And you see more Caucasian champions than ever. Just saying. Look at the boxing. Oh yeah, you see you may see uh the money man in the boxing. And he retired, the money man retired. Funny thing though. Who financed him? He may be called the money man, but somebody else is making it big. They ain't got another swing. They probably been around since Muhammad Ali. Behind the scenes. Who's sponsoring who? Look at O. She got her own show. Been in the movies, wrote her own book. Who financing her? Just saying. You see these record producers. Matter of fact, you see these artists singing. You thinking they got the money. The people behind them got the money. They do for you. They give them hotels, buy them clothes, rehearsal. When they get paid, they got to pay all it back. How much your check was? Oh, what was it? $8.35. A group of boys. An addition. And it, it, it went back to the neighborhood. And all they made was $8. Something. That was cold bloody. They steal your shine. The slavery is over. <laughs> oh, they just done twist it up. Open up your eyes. You're asleep. It's time to be awake. The sleeper is coming. To put you asleep. Going to deny everything I just said. Watch out for the sleeper. Watch out for the sleeper. And this hurts. But just wanted y'all to know that. i talk to y'all later. But remember, racism, when you go into the job, you've been there longer than somebody, right? You've been there doing your job. They get the promotion, but not you. They become... Supervisors over you, but not you, but you been at the job first. You working your way up, and all of a sudden, this guy coming out of college, and then you got to train him. Why would I train him if he came out of college? Racism is all around us, but it's right there where you least expect it. Your mom don't love you. They love the other kids, but they don't love, she don't love you. You being spit on Treated like trash. It hurts. It's not necessarily that. There's a lot of people that go through that. Not just you. Mama leaves her son and leaves her husband for another man. That racism is something else. But that's favoritism right there. That's favoritism. People don't want to Come to your chat. Oh, you ain't cussing enough. You ain't talking about enough. You look down on. But you don't give up. You keep telling them, bringing the truth out here. They can make fun of you, talk about you. But they know they, they know you're telling the truth. You, 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 you took your time and you was in a, you was in a cinema with them. 
And all because you made a live some things that you are you talked about mo come on favoritism racism because of the color of your skin or what you say in the chat oh you ain't talking good enough uh, the words you using we don't talk like that when we talk at a college level and you still broke just saying holler y'all but remember, racism is everywhere. Watch your mom, watch your dad, watch your friends, watch the situations. And you call it like you want to call it.